Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for joining us for uh, the special roundtable discussion for The Secret Garden. We appreciate you all taking your time. Um, and we'll just, you know, to get us kicked off, we're going to start with the incredible Kathy Cupkit from Bel Air Mommy. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here with us today. So we saw the movie this weekend, and the first thing that I thought of was magic can happen at any given time. What is it that you would like your audience goers after watching the movie to learn and walk away with? And what was your favorite scene? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> my, I would think that uh, I would like the viewers to walk away with um, the idea that that nature is really beautiful and how healing nature and friendship and just being, you know, part of it all um, can really heal a person. Um, my favorite scene was um, towards the end, um, it was a stream and we had to swim in a stream and it was really cold on a really hot day. And uh, yeah. Um, I think probably, I think it's I think it would be good for like the audience to walk away with you know um, people can really grow and change and that's really cool and um, it's possible and I think again um, similar to Eden my favorite scene was probably the last one which was when it was really 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 hot and we were in that lake and it was just you know very fun very cool okay Step, we're going to have um, Jennifer from Real Mom of SV, SFB. Hi, everyone. Um, uh, I watched the movie over the weekend, loved it. Um, I wanted to ask the both of you, um, you had several scenes with Colin Firth. Um, what was it like filming those scenes? Was it a little intimidating acting against such an established actor? Um, I would say it was really, really, really fun. He's just genuinely really nice. Um, obviously very good at what he does, but, um, yeah, he was really sweet and, you know, he didn't make us feel intimidated at all. I don't think it was, yeah, it was a good time. Great. Yeah. I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah. He, um, he's quite a very down to earth guy, you know, um, uh, when, when I first heard that I'd be working with him, it's like, wow, that's crazy. But, um, but you know, after meeting him and everything, he's just a lovely man. He makes me feel very comfortable. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, our next question is be from Christina and her adorable kids from the Patrizios. Let's see. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Carter? Okay, number six. Okay. Hi, my name is Carter, and this is Kimmy and I's question. How did you create magic? in your everyday life? How do you create magic? Yeah, how do you? Um, how do I create magic in my everyday life? Um, I think just going outside, you know, um, being, being, uh, being with friends and with family, you know, it's the most magical thing you can do, I guess. Um, I probably, it's a very good question. I think I'd probably say similarly to Eden, I guess um, people, you know, people who make you feel good and like your friends and family, they're kind of magic, I guess. I don't really know. Thank you. We loved the movie. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to come from Melissa Northway from Dandelion Women. Hi, you guys. I absolutely love the movie. It was fabulous and so magical. Um, I, I wanted to know, did you guys have um, like a favorite day on the set? Not necessarily a scene, but it's always good to hear like the backstories that maybe the moviegoers might know, something funny that might have happened on the set. Um, I don't know if like I don't know if I could pinpoint one specific day, uh -huh. but I know not the best answer, but like, I think the overall experience of it, because the weather was genuinely so good, which is quite rare in England. Um, and it was so nice. And just, um, I know this is really corny, but like, it felt like a big family. 
and you know everyone got on really well with each other so I think the whole experience especially going to the gardens when we went on like a studio I think yeah. that whole part of it was really good yeah yeah that was one of my favorite scenes when you guys were running through the garden and it was all the flowers and things were blooming yeah that was that was so cool okay thank you and then how about you um it's hard to pinpoint the day I, I had a great experience on the set but like uh like Dixie said moving on to you know being part of nature the, the sets were beautiful really um just, yeah. so yeah I think I had a great experience too. Very cool. Well, thank you. Thanks, you guys. It was just so wonderful. Thank you. Okay, next, our next question is going to come from Candy from Candy Palooza. Hey, guys. Congratulations on the film. Uh, we loved it. Um, tell me about the first day on set for you. <laughs> wow, that's a long time ago. Um, <laughs> first, that, well, we actually, we spent some time doing some rehearsals with you know, getting the cast together, just just you know, getting comfortable with everybody. Um, but first, first day on set, um, I think it was in a studio. I think in Pinewood, and um, and it was. Uh, I think for me, it was in my bed. So um, we were we were in like it's very very hot at the time because the lights and the weather there. And, um, in this in this room is uh, I spend all day in a bed. So <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah, like Eden said, we had um, a whole bunch of rehearsals before. So you know, obviously the people who were like the cast knew each other kind of, um, and obviously we knew the director and everything. But I don't actually remember the first what the first scene I did was. But I do remember it was really nerve wracking because like there's a whole bunch of crew, right? Like people behind the camera, people doing all that sort of stuff, which I obviously didn't know. And it was quite daunting, you know, um, but it was fine because they were all really nice. I mean, thankfully, yeah. So it was just a good experience. Okay, our next question is going to come from Megan from Jaw Monkey. Hi. So I'm curious to know if there were any on-site locations that you guys had um, a favorite for, outdoor locations that were your favorite. Um, I think, uh, oh yeah, there was a place that we went to and it was called Tree Bar, right? And it had, it, I, that, that was probably my favorite. It was like this big garden. It was so nice. And it had like, all this like big gunnera, which is like a type of plant, but yeah. Um, it was really pretty, really fun. I hadn't seen anything like it to be fair. And there was like this little mini, I think it was like a private beach at the end, which was so nice. Um, and yeah, that was probably my favorite. I really liked it and the weather was really yeah. good, so. Yeah, no, I, I remember that. Um, yeah, we, um, we, so we had to get tutoring on set because you know, we still have to go to school and everything. And um, I remember, Shooting on the beach, which was a new experience for me. Um, but yeah, I'd agree with it. So that is that was a good day. Yeah. Not a bad location for taking school lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Megan, I have to say your backdrop is stunning. Nice work. And um, the next question is going to come from Christy from Running on Pixie Dust. everyone and I'm here with my son you want to introduce yourself I'm Brody and we really enjoyed watching the movie um, this weekend and my question secret garden is obviously it's been around for a long time lots of different adaptations on stage and in film what made you interested in auditioning for the role what drew you to the film um, I think that it was um, it was a new take on the secret garden and um mark had this vision from the beginning um to make it quite um almost kind of a, a dark kind of feeling at the beginning and just um that really comes through and, and it and it um and it goes from being quite bleak to really beautiful towards the end and i think that that was that was something that um reading the book um i got from it so i uh, inspired to find 
Um, yeah, I think I'd probably say like basically the same as Eden, similar to him. Like the script was just really good, you know? Um, it was really cool. And I think even though it's not exactly like the book, they got a really good balance of making it enough like the book so that you could recognize the story, but giving it a little bit of a modern twist. I don't really know. But yeah, I just liked it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to come from Melissa from the Mommyhood Chronicles. Hi, we watched the movie this weekend and we loved it. I was just wondering, what life lessons would you want your young readers to take away from this movie? And it was beautiful, by the way, the whole movie. Um, right, uh, like I said, I think that um, just the real beauty and power of nature and um, the people around you and that people, you know, don't always, uh, aren't always as they seem at first. I think that you have to kind of get to know them to see the other side of them. Again, I'd say I kind of agree with Eden. Like, just the, the importance of nature and like protecting it and the importance of friendship and stuff because you know that's like a big part of the film and how people can grow and change in good ways like positive ways but yeah thank you so much okay our next question is going to come from Shay and the adorable Raya from um, Popcorn and Tater Tots hi you guys so this question is for Eden and we wanted to know, was it difficult playing the role of Colin? And is it easier or harder to act while you're laying in bed? Um, uh, it, was, it was quite hard to, um, to play the role of Colin because um, it was a new, you know, I, I, was, I was a little bit younger um, when I was shooting it. And um, I had to be, you know, act as if I was, um, you know, physically disabled. So it was a, it was a tough challenge, but I had a, a really good um, movement coach called Alex and she really helped me and, you know kind of get into the um, mindset and how Colin would be I think it was harder to do a scene um, sitting down just all the time but you know I had Mark Munden and everyone who helped me overcome this, that challenge and, and um, yeah coming through it awesome thank you did you guys have a follow-up for anything for Dixie? Yes, Raya does. Go ahead, Raya. My question was, was how was it working with Eden? <laughs> um, it was, yeah, it was good. I mean, I don't want to go too overboard, but he was nice enough, you know, um, decent. It was no, it was good fun to be fair. I'm not trying to be funny, but you know, it's kind of um, usually, I guess, if you're on set, there's a lot of adults, right? Which is fine. Adults are really cool, but it's sometimes nice to have people your age. And so, you know, I mean, I consider him a friend. Don't know if you consider me one, but you know, yeah, no, it was good fun to be fair. Yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I agree with yeah, Dixie. Working alone, you know, just with adults is quite hard. So it was, you know, nice and refreshing to work. The people are it was um, it was good. Thank you. Thank we you. So Ari, I have a follow-up question. Okay. Hold on one second, I Kathy. Okay. Kathy, you are not done quite yet, um, but go for it. Um, I wanted to know what drew you to the characters, why you wanted to play these characters. Oh, wow. Um, I think uh, because Colin was... Um, quite a challenging character, you know, he, um, he was suffering a little bit from depression, I think, and, um, you know, I'd love to, you know, I, I just wanted to do my take on it, because, um, you know, the book, the book, the film and the book, yeah, Secret Garden story, it tackles, you know, quite challenging subject, like, kids, um, story, um, and I think it does, it does it really well, and I'd love to, and I'd love to, like, um, you know, work with that um I guess I'd say for me um I don't know I think Mary was kind of complex um obviously starts off as a very unlikable person but I think you know throughout the film she shows change hopefully and you know she grows and um, into a better person or into a more nicer more positive person I guess so yeah I think just the her 
whole overall like emotional journey kind of it's quite enticing I guess I don't know thank you okay our next question is going to be from Tessa Smith from Mama's Geeky Hello, how Hi. is everyone? We loved the movie. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter Lori wants to ask a question. Was it scary to film the fire scene and was the fire real? Okay, so very good question. Um, the fire scene, I mean, yes, so some of the fire was real, which is really cool. Kind of scary, but really cool. But it basically, I know, it basically added to like the whole atmosphere, you know what I mean? So it was like easier to act scared, like if you kind of get what I'm saying. So it made it feel a lot more real, which obviously the fire was real. But um, yeah, kind of scary, but also quite fun, to be fair. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, our next question is going to be from Janice from the Mommy Blog Expert. Okay, um, first of all, you both were amazing. And I wanted to ask a little bit more about your character because both of you come from very like misfit kind of off characters. And how did you relate to those characters? And what did you bring from your real self, into your character in that regard? Um, I think uh what i took from my character um i i i i think that um that i took the part because it was quite unlike myself and i like the challenge so um i think that's why um i think probably for mary i mean to be honest she's quite different from me you know she is orphaned which thankfully i'm not but um, she's, you got, um, I, I guess I would relate to her in the sense that, um, I don't know, I think she probably, by the end at least, she appreciates friends and what it's like to have friends and, you know, she appreciates the people around her, which I hope I do too, I suppose, yeah. Thank you. Great, our next question is gonna come from Angela from Queen Bee Latina. Hi, good morning guys. Thank you for being with us. Um, I have to say the imagery in this movie is absolutely stunning. Um, were there any obstacles in working with CGI in terms of like the character? Was it hard to get in the character? What was it like being in, you know, working? And is it your first time working in, in a CGI film? Um, so, oh. do you want to get that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I guess what I'd say to that is basically it wasn't that difficult because the majority of the film is not CGI. Like the gardens themselves, I mean, again, like I've said a million times before, the weather was really good, so that obviously helped. But they were genuinely just so pretty and so like amazing in real life that since there wasn't that much CGI, it wasn't difficult like to act amazed by how pretty it was, I suppose, yeah. Um, I think that, um, you know, being in a scene just um, with everybody acting and, it, you know, it kind of, it feels like you are there in that moment. And um, for the CGI bit, um, yeah, a lot of it was real life, but um, most, but some of it was CGI. Uh, so people, they would genuinely, um, there'd be a man shaking a plant <laughs> whilst we're shooting a scene. Um, so, um, yeah. But it was, it was uh, good. Thank you. Ari might be frozen. Sorry about that, you guys. Let's go to Lynette Fernandez from Fantastic Life. Hi, I just want to say you guys did an amazing job in your characters. We love the film as a family, so thank you for that. So I'd like to know how being in this film has helped shape you as a person or as an actor. Um, I think it was, it was one of the first projects for me that I did. And just learning from 
from, from everybody else because we had, we had to work with some great people like um, Jack Thorne and Mark Munden and Colin and Judy and everyone. It was a brilliant, brilliant um, cast and crew. Uh, so I think just learning off the people around us and um, just, you know, getting general knowledge about the cinema. Um, yeah, I'd say similarly, you know, I mean, it was the first one where I was like, I don't know, the main character. And that was quite um, a big thing, you know. Um, I just, I do think that, again, like Eden said, we got to work with so many crazy, amazing people like Colin and Julie and Mark and Eden, you know. But, um, yeah, it was, I think I learned a lot, you know, I'd say. Um, and it was just, I don't know, I think it was just a really good experience for me. Thank you. Okay, our next question is from um, Tanya for Lola Lamb Chops. Hi, um, I'm gonna pass this one over to one of my daughters, Morgan. Hi. All right, I love when Mary says, I'm no lady, sir, and that she's a strong female character even though she faced a lot of adversity. She's also a great storyteller. Who are some of your favorite storytellers? Hmm, I don't really know. Like, hmm, as in like books or, I don't know, it's a good question though. Um, I guess I don't think there's like a specific person, but watching, I guess watching movies and watching TV, like in itself, in general, you have some great storytelling. I don't know, but yeah, good question. Thank you. Okay, guys, we have a few minutes for a couple follow-up questions. Do we have um, do we have anybody that's got a few follow-ups? Okay, Mama's Geeky, you're up. <laughs> She's so um, excited. So this is my is other it? daughter, Ivy. She wants to know. What is it, what was it like working with the dog? Oh, yeah, um, Fuzzy oh, no. was... Uh, one of the most trained, well-trained dogs that um, we ever worked with. Um, yeah, brilliant. Um. Yeah, it was it, his name. His name was Fozzy, um, and he's amazing. I think, in my opinion, he stole the show. Not gonna lie, but yeah, it was so fun. You know, I mean, obviously we all love dogs and everything, and yeah, it was just oh, he was so sweet. I miss him, but yeah, it was really good fun. Thank you. Thanks. And um, we have, uh, let's see, um, Tony from Alola Land Chops has another one. Um, I have a question. What advice do you have for kids that want to get into acting? Um, ooh, I don't know. Um, I'd say, I know it's probably kind of cliche, but I guess if you want to do it, then just, just have a go because, you know, no one's going to judge you for it. Like, it's not, just do it, you know, just like, don't even worry about it. If, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then that's okay. But yeah, mm. I'd say just go for it and you, can, you know, you've got nothing to lose. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah, me, me too. I think just go. Um, acting is, I think, uh, a lot of it is luck and, you know, we were very lucky to be part of this project. Um, but, you know, like a few years ago, I was in that same position, wondering how I get into acting. Um, but uh, I just, you know, uh, looked up an agent and just auditioned, and you know, here I am. So great, thank you. And then um, Lynette from Fantastic Life has another follow-up. So, if you had a secret garden, what would that look like? If I had a secret garden, um, I think I'd try um, and make it emulate what the film, um, uh, the one in the film, I think I'd have a body of water of some sort, because um, I, I, that's, that's, that's a big part, and just as many trees and flowers as possible, try and make it as beautiful as possible. Um, I, I don't know. That's a good question. I haven't thought about that. I'd probably say I'd just try and get 
a whole bunch of stuff in there, like all sorts of things. You can have like a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, you have a whole, you have trees, well, obviously, um, like maybe a trampoline, you know, lovely stuff. You get a whole bunch of things. But I haven't really put that much thought into it yet. That's a very good idea. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, and our last question is going to come from Shay and Raya from Popcorn and Tater Tots. Okay, go ahead, Raya. Um, my, qu my question was, have you read the book, and which one do you like more, the book or the movie? Um, uh, I, um, I kind of, uh, I read the book with my sister over the winter, and um, well, I really enjoyed it. I watched the movie as well, but I think the book was just captivating, I think. And uh, yeah, I prefer the book. Um, I'd say, so yeah, I read the book when I was like seven. Um, it was one of the first proper books I read, so yay. Um, so I already knew the story pretty well. I don't know, even though I might be slightly more biased towards the film. Well, thank you guys. I don't know. No, sorry. I just oh. cut out for a second. Keep going. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know if I could pick between them. You know what I mean? Because they're kind of different, but like, you know, both lovely in their own little ways. Yeah. Well, thank you guys all so much for your time. I know it's late in the UK, so thank you to Eden and Dixie for staying up. And thank you to all of you for being around here and just taking your time to spend some time with us and talk about The Secret Garden. Just a reminder for everybody, it comes out on premium video on demand this Friday, August 7th. Um, and, you know, we obviously have artwork for you and activity guides and it's such a wonderful movie. So thank you for spreading the word, the word to everybody and all your followers across all your platforms. Thank you all so much. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your thank day. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.